know some of you are asking, you're talking about the vaccine. What's in the vaccine? What about its effect on the body? What about possible side effects? There's been lots of fears, uh, lots of misinformation and disinformation. Let's talk about the facts right now, what you need to know about this particular vaccine. Now, some basic facts, and we'll be projecting them ac actually on the screen. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is also known as the AZD1222. It's actually made from a weakened version of a common cold virus from chimpanzees, believe it or not, but it's been modified to look more like the coronavirus, although it can't cause the illness. Now, on the next slide, we'll tell you that once it's injected, it teaches your body's immune system how to fight the real virus in case you encounter it. The AZD1222 vaccine has an efficacy of 63.09% against symptomatic SARS-CoV-2 infection. And something else you should know, unlike Pfizer's jab, which has to be kept at an extremely cold temperature, that's the other vaccine, this Oxford vaccine can be stored in a normal fridge. This makes it much easier to be distributed. And of course, across the African continent. Now, so far, the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine has been used in these countries, in the United Kingdom, in Scotland, in Northern Ireland, and it's currently being rolled out across Africa in that COVAX a partnership. The vaccine's effect we're told it's able to substantially reduce the risk of COVID-19 related hospitalization by 94% after the first dose. And this is according to a first study that was carried out on 1.14 million vaccinations that were carried out in Scotland since the vaccine was rolled out in December, the 20th day of December 2020. This is the question I know many of you are asking about. What are the common side effects? Well, these are the common side effects suffered by more than one in ten. They include tenderness or bruising where the injection is given. Some have experienced fatigue, uh, unusual tiredness, chills or feeling feverish. Others say headaches, nausea, joint pain or muscle ache. Now, these are random. It's not that a mass that everyone will experience this, and some don't at all. But those are some of the things that you should be aware of. But also, the good news is that, according to an article published by the BBC on the 9th of February 2021, and remember, this vaccine was rolled out in the United Kingdom in December, no one who received the Oxford vaccine was hospitalized or became seriously ill due to COVID-19, and that uh, results were as of the 9th of February 2021. 21. We certainly hope these are a few details uh, that you have been enlightened about in regards to that vaccine, and we'll be giving you more details as and when we get them. But